A DC native is emerging as one of Hollywood's most sought after artists for his unique braille like artwork. Reggie Galumo grew up in Ward 5, and after years of struggle and sacrifice, his heart, his art is now being recognized by some big names, even the legendary Stevie Wonder. Welcome to the show, Reggie. Hello, thank you for having absolutely. me. Absolutely. First of all, the artwork is absolutely beautiful, but what makes it more special, it's done in a braille like fashion. How did this form of art come to be for you? Well, my grandfather was diagnosed with glaucoma. Okay. And I thought that that was an interesting way to, you know, experience um, different textures of art for yeah. the blind and the visually impaired to connect with the art world. Tell me about this first artwork that we're looking at here. Can I, can I touch it? Sure, please okay. feel free. And it is very tactile. Yes. But tell us about what this one is. So this one is a piece that I created just to show the movement and the joy of individuals and I decided to use found objects that were collected in the community, yeah. broken toys, paintbrush uh, rollers, oyster shells. So really, just things you found in yes, the community? I, I think absolutely. I see a paintbrush there. Yes, yes, And what is this, yes. a, a pad? A this is actually a piece of uh, discarded carpet that someone wow. had thrown out, and this is a, a watch. And, and what do you call this artwork, this piece of artwork? This piece is called Moving On. Yeah. That's the title of this one here. And I love that you yes, said Moving yes. On, because as I said, you grew yes. up in Ward 5, and some yes. people might say it's a, it's a Trinidad, Brooklyn area. Yes, Much yes. better today mm -hmm. than it was in years past. But what yes. would you say to kids growing up there who may have a dream, um, and they don't really see to fruition you obviously are shining example of what can happen when you dream big what would you have to say to those kids as we kind of move on and also look at more artwork here I would just definitely say follow your dreams yeah. and never give up and dare to be different continue to just do the things that others aren't doing and be creative all right, we're looking more at your artwork yes. here, and I want to uh -huh. look at this one. It looks like a Nike shoe, again, made with discarded objects that you found. Tell us about this piece of art. Yes, this one here was just uh, inspired by the people down at Anacostia who loved to roller skate and just wanted to just go through the park and yeah. pick up some of the items that people didn't have any more use with, and yeah. I just sort of brought them to life with something that people are dare to You skating. are brilliant. Who inspires Thank you? you? How you. did you, who, who inspires this artwork for you? Uh, I would say in an art realm, uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat. Yes. He, he yes. was one of the first to do his style, and mm -hmm. I wanted to be the first to do this his style. That's amazing. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. Of course, yes. you got the uh, attention of uh, none other than Mr. Stevie Wonder. How did that come to be? Yes. Well, I uh, went to school with uh, one of his family members, okay. and uh, they were able to pass on my style of art to him, and he sort he of gravitated it. I'm going to move it. over because yeah. I want folks to see the other yes, two here. Yes, Tell yes. us about this one. I love, actually, I love all of them, but tell us about this one, the movement in it, the, uh, the acrobatics, just gorgeous. Tell us about that one. This one is titled Imperfect Balance. Oh, I love it. And it's um, also made of found objects, uh, broken records and mm -hmm. wax and pieces of trees. Mm -hmm. And is this your homage to Basquiat? Yes, this, one? this is my piece that I'm currently working on. Oh, you're still working it's on this It's an one. unfinished piece here of uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat. I love yes, that. Yes, So, yes. of course, folks are wondering, how can I get more of Reggie Galumo? Okay, that's a good question. I'm currently seeking a location in D.C. for a gallery. Yeah. And um, right now I can be reached by email. Mm -hmm. That would be the best way to reach out and get some commission pieces. So can anyone can purchase yes, your artwork right now? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. That's, that's amazing. Yes, indeed. Yes, right. indeed. And I just want to step back in. And how, mm -hmm. many, how many pieces of art would you, I guess, hazard that you've completed in your years of painting? Oh, wow. Hundreds? Hundreds, I would say. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Hundreds, hundreds, hundreds. Do you teach kids? I do. I inspire kids and I teach kids um, different techniques in art. And I believe that art's a therapy, yeah. and it, it, it gives people a new direction in their daily path. I want you to square away into this camera so folks yes. can get a good look into it. This guy is one to watch, hmm. Reggie Galumo. He's looking for an art space to display some of this amazing artwork. You also could purchase it. Let's put his slate up one more time. This is how you can contact him. The email is artgalumo at gmail.com. His Insta is at Art Galumo. Check them out. This is DC Natives. I'm telling you, we have so much talent here, and every time I see it, I am just amazed thank by what you. we put out here. Congratulations, sir. Yes, indeed. Thank Looking you for having me. Looking forward to seeing me. more from you. All right. Thank oh, you. Oh, absolutely. It's my All pleasure. Right. Tom? All right.